HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video we're going to set up this really cool Star Wars corridor scene. So I have been working with Andrew Kramer's free Star Wars model pack. And in this model pack, I have worked with the TIE Fighter as well as the X-Wing. Okay. But what we haven't worked with yet is the Imperial Corridor pieces or the R2 unit. Today, we're going to work with the Imperial Corridor pieces. So I will leave a link in the description below to this Star Wars model pack. It is free and provided by the awesome Andrew Kramer at videocopilot.net. You will want to download the model pack here and then download the JPEG, JPEG map files here. And the corridor scene itself is this right here, this scene, okay, these pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into HitFilm Pro. I am working in version 6. 0.17208. This is the HitFilm version 6 with one update on it now. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to click on this little arrow key and say import a 3D model. And you can see that we have the blast door and we have the corridor left and the corridor left floor, the right and right floor, as well as the loop and the loop floor. We're going to work today with the corridor left and the corridor left floor. So I'm going to bring up the corridor left and there it is and if i were to zoom in here you will see that's it under materials i'm going to twirl open the default material and go to the um jpeg file that i downloaded and i'm going to use corridor diffuse for the diffuse map i'm going to use the corridor specular for the specular map and i'm going to use corridor normal for the normal map Okay, and I am going to make this Cook Torrents. Now, I could change this reflection mode to Planner. I guess I will. It isn't really going to matter because we're not going to reflect anything off of that. And I'm going to just rename this The Corridor. Okay, clicking OK. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to open up a 3D model, and I am going to uh, grab the Corridor Left Floor, and there it is. And under materials, I actually used this piece of a picture of steel that I got from my friend at Eric Matias at soundimage.org. But for the tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the corridor diffuse. Okay, it will it will work just the same. I'm gonna make this cook torrents, and this absolutely needs to be planner. This is new in the version six of HitFilm Pro. And the specular reflectivity, I'm going to set at 20%, although I think uh, in the picture that Andrew Kramer provides, it's probably somewhat less than that, but 20% is what I'm going to use. And I'm just going to refer to this as the floor, okay, and click OK. All right, so now that I have my pieces, I'm going to make a new composite shot and click OK. And I'm going to bring these two guys in, okay. Now, the corridor model itself is fairly small, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is just in the World Transform Properties, scale it up to 2,000%, and there it is. And I'm also going to do the same with the floor. So up to 2,000%, just make them nice and big. I'm going to add a camera, and the floor is sitting right here, but the corridor is a little bit low. So what I'm going to do is just under position the Y uh, property, I'm just going to raise that corridor until it is sitting right at about the floor level or so, about right maybe there, okay? Now I can go ahead and raise my camera position, and if I get rid of the grid map, you can see the floor is there. Now if I were to add a light to the scene, um, then you can see that the problem is is that the floor itself is occluded by the corridor. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to bring the floor above it so that you can see it. But it is not being properly occluded by these columns and pillars. So what I'm going to do is under the floor model, controls property, under layer properties, included depth map, I'm going to make sure that's checked, and depth source layer will be 
the corridor and now you can see that that is looking pretty good now if i get a two point view here and i were to back out here I, you can kind of see where the light is i'm going to grab that light and i'm just going to push it back until it's lighting up those back lights back there and if i go too far those lights kind of go away so i just want to be in the right place um, and that is, I think, about negative 6,000 or so, okay? Um, which means that if I wanted to put one here, I could do that pretty easily. I would just say duplicate, and then I would take that light and say make it at 6,000, okay? So now I have a light behind me, all right? Um, also, I think that uh, I want to duplicate this light again and then probably just bring it forward to you know somewhere here in the middle maybe okay like this in fact i might put one say about there which apparently is about at let's say negative 2000 beautiful and so then if i were to duplicate that um i could put it at 2000 and now i basically have four lights lighting up this entire scene okay all right so back to my camera view you can see that the floor is there but there's no reflection there you know those lights are pretty bright i think what i'm going to do is search for intensity if i want to just search for one thing and then i can just kind of knock the intensity of all of them down what do you think yeah that looks better all right let's go with that all right what i'm going to do now is, is i'm going to go ahead and turn on all the reflections so under the corridor model materials folder if i say cast reflections okay and then under floor if i go to the material and i say receive the reflections then you can see how the reflections are being received that's probably a lot of reflections so what i can do is go into the media pile panel and right click on floor properties and bring back up the original 3d model properties and under the specular reflectivity let's make it 10 percent and if we click ok that should lower that down a little bit um the the corridor texture is pretty pure so it doesn't have those same rough edges that my other one had but basically that's it in a nutshell if i were to take this camera and just sort of rotate it around then you see how we have this um corridor nice and lit properly with all of its things right now here's the thing if i'm coming around um and you look here to the right a little bit you'll see that there's this big gap here that's where that blast door belongs and what i think i'll do is i'll make a second video on how to uh animate that blast door uh, and then you can figure out how to kind of drop it in there so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching if you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from hit film sensei consider liking the hit film sensei facebook page following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday and Monday, and thanks for your support.